will make them think they're going to sit on the left and on the right. You know, I go to go get my mama and put in a word for me. Wait a minute, I was there when he gave out them fish sandwiches. Surely I ought to get a seat on the left or on the right. And then I can hear Peter. Peter probably saying, wait a minute, he preached from my boat. That ought to be worth something. They all worrying about who gonna be the big Negro in the kingdom. You know, the sad thing is, we got church folk who function like that. They don't care about feeding the hungry and clothing the naked. They just want to be the chairman. They don't care about if the ministry work or if it function. They just want to be on paper as president. They don't care how many folks' lives get touched or how many folk get turned around. They just want a position. They just want to be able to go tell somebody that you know when I speak, people listen over there at that church I attend. There's some folk who just want to sit in the deacon's corner, not because they want to serve folk, but because big mama be proud of them. Come on, folk, it's time out for that mess. God looking for some people with a servant's heart. God's looking for some people who won't serve when it's convenient. God's looking for some people who won't serve just when other folk are looking. God's looking for some people who just won't serve on Saturday and Sunday. God's looking for some people who just won't serve in Bethel. But, but he's looking for people who will serve where he's planted them. He's looking for people who will serve the brokenhearted and the forgotten. He's looking for people who are going to serve the the sick and the suffering. He's looking for people who are not worried about me, but what can I do to help somebody? He's looking for some servants. See, I'm going to tell you what the Christian position is. Whoever win in November, that's the one God intended to win. Now you can go along with the process and you can see God's face and vote the way God leads you or you can sit back and watch what happened. Either way it go, the one that God intended to be there is going to be there. Now, 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 now please understand, that I don't want you thinking, well, Reverend Jones said go home and sit down. No, because that's why we got the mess we got right now. Because some folks went, went home and sat down. Well, you know, my vote don't make a difference. No, God has given you the opportunity to influence things around you. But if you won't do your part, God ain't going to do for you what you won't do for yourself. Hello, somebody. Some folk hungry because they won't cook. Some folk homeless because they won't pay their rent. Some folks sitting in the cold. Not because the utility bill was so high, but because they wouldn't pay it. Well, I don't understand, Rev. No, we got folk out here that are bad for what they need and buy what they want. And then come by Bethel, I need some help. And then get mad when we say, bring your bills. Oh, you trying you you trying to get in my business? Wait a minute! You invited me into your business when you said your light bill needed to be paid. You don't want me in your business? Pay your own light bill, and then we'll shout together. Oh, praise the Lord! You can pay your light bill. Cause see, just like you need some help, there's a mother folk need some help. Because truth be known, every one of us needs some help every now and then. But I'm here to tell you, my brothers and sisters, I'm glad today. I'm glad that God looks beyond our faults. 
and he sees our needs. I'm glad that God looked behind every dumb decision I made and ended up in the muck and the mire. He could have looked at me and said, fool, you're going to stay right there. But he had tender mercy, reached down and pulled me up out the muck and the mire and put me on a solid rock. He lifted me up out of that mess that I got my own self in. But God loved me so that he wanted me to be better than I was. He wants you to be better than you are. And then when he pulls you out of the muck and the mire, he wants you to go tell somebody, God been good to me. If it wasn't for the Lord who was on my side, I'd still be stuck in the mud. If it wasn't for the Lord, somebody know what I'm talking about in here. Somebody know that if it hadn't been for Jesus in the midnight hour, when I tried everything and everybody and couldn't get no relief, when I tried to fix it and made it worse than it already was, it was the Lord that lifted me up. I'd be a fool to not tell somebody how good God been to me. Cause see what I've been through, somebody going through right now. See fellas, a whole lot of folk figure you got it going on. Y'all big ballers, you got it going on. Everybody look up to you, you got it going on. They don't know that after you leave practice that you got to get the same books that they get. They don't know that after you come back from the road that you got to take the same test that they take. They ain't giving no grades away at Tuskegee University. I know that for a fact. And you got to struggle. You struggling more than other folk. See, folk don't know what it costs you to be you. And if you ain't figured out where to get some help, I'm telling you right now, you need to find out where the help is. I learned a long time ago that my help come from the hills. The Lord will help you. The Lord will make a way out of no way. The Lord.